Hey guys and welcome back to Europe Universal Sport as Congo. So, Milan just declared war on France, which is good and bad because one, it started the coalition war, but two, it also meant that uh, I didn't get to start a coalition war. So, I don't get to choose what it is that we take, which would have been great because I would have been able to take loads of stuff. But not anymore. Which is really annoying. Hopefully France gets absolutely stomped. I hate France. The great blue blob that they are. I've got a lot of stuff to take over this end. But the annoying thing is, in, if this was a player, then they would be focused so much on what's going on here that they wouldn't really care about all of this stuff. And I'd be able just to snipe that with my boats. Like, just throw my boats in. But unfortunately, with France being France and being an AI, they can like, simultaneously spot my boats moving up there while they're micromanaging absolutely everything up there. But, yeah. <clears throat> On the Siege of Ida. Cool beans. Let's move down here. Just keep sieging all of this. As quickly as possible as well. Okay, so apparently there's a, a single transport here. Oh, we lost our Master of Mint, but got another Master of Mint. Fantastic. This, uh, this inflation is dropping something rotten. That was up at like 5% before. I think I paid it down though. Yeah, as far as I remember, I did pay it down. <clears throat> so yeah, France took a massive chunk in the middle of Europe and this coalition started. And now they're not having a great time. Fortunately, they're going to need to uh, dedicate all their troops to what's happening in Europe. Well, there's 85,000 men there just taking them out. There you go, and Austria's, and then Switzerland. Oh my god, that's 120 odd stack. So let's hope that these all just siege everything of France is down. We get 100%, I get a load of my cores back, which would be lovely. But yeah, that's the, uh, Oh, for God's sakes. Let's get increased innovative. I hate it when stuff like that happens. Let's uh, start splitting these armies because it doesn't look like we're going to be uh, experiencing any issues. Oh, we just won the Siege of Effie. Nice. Send you down here. Doesn't look like we're going to be experiencing any issues with people coming to attack us anyway. Hey, we won this Siege. Brilliant. So that means I can come down and send you guys to Cameroon. Ooh, big army there. Or big, uh... Not army, big fleet. <clears throat> right, let's try and grab some of these guys and send them over to that French, that French area. To the east of us. I don't know if we'll be able to take any of it. But we may be able to... Actually, no, because they're never going to give us that land. Never going to give us that land, so we will need to go to war with France again. Which kind of sucks. But, meh. What are you going to do? We could get improved irrigation, which will give us extra production efficiency. How much is it costing? 355? Don't mind if I do. The thing is, we'll get, hopefully, all of our cores... But we'll get, um, it should only be cores that they give us, so I won't need to core any land. At least that's how I expect it to work. It's been a while since I, la I was last in a, uh, in a war that the AI was leading up. Let's actually take these guys and leave them here and worry. There we go. All these troops are perfectly halved, so it doesn't matter who I combine them with, it'll still make exactly what I want. There we go, let us get this infantry combat ability, don't mind if I do. Hey, we've cored some of these lands. I forgot we were still coring, but that'll be done very soon. We won the Siege of Oyo. Beautiful. Send them down here, because we actually have every place sieged now. 
Or at least all the ones that we want in mainland Africa. Let me just double check. I'm sure the mission is for mainland Africa, but we'll just double check. Or is it going? No, I think it's just Africa. I'll check after the episode. I think it is just Africa. Oh, nice, nice, nice. You guys can come over here. Uh, you guys can get out so you're not taking attrition. That's ridiculous. And after we've sieged it all down, we might as well go to war with uh, Kano. Because there's nothing else for us to do in this war. Oh, they are sieging down time soon. I was wondering what was happening. I was wondering why it was negative 7%. But we're just waiting on the siege popping. Uh, we've called arguing. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Because we took them off of Portugal, obviously they were already Catholic, so we don't need to mess about with any of that rubbish. Um, concede defeat. No, why? We just 100 percent you. Why would I concede defeat? Full annexation. No, that's not what I want. I want you to. Okay, I want you to give me full annexation. Sure. I don't know why that gives that to us, but whatever. Here in Morocco, do you want... Oh. I don't know why I can't give Morocco that, that is really strange. I don't want it. God, I'm going to have to increase autonomy so it doesn't revolt. I don't want it, it's not mine, that's not what the war was over. God, what the heck. Well, whatever. Morocco like us. I like that Morocco's Christian and they've got religious ideas. Means that all of this land is just going to get converted for me. <laughs> it's this Berber patriots. Uh, hopefully they can sort them out. <clears throat> I don't fancy having to head up there. Oh, we lost trading in slaves. That sucks. Oldenburg declared war upon France. Nationalism, CB. God, France are just getting stomped now. This is kind of sick. Ah, but I suppose I can do this for Morocco. That'll help them out a bit. Everyone's just declaring on France. What, uh, what's your armies like now? Oh, jeez. 275,000. Wow. Our army against their army. The relative strength of alliances is just crazy. Oh, the Ottomans declared war on Medri Badri. Or Medri Bari. Their enemies, they were allied. Oft, whatever. I thought the Ottomans. Huh, I don't know what happened with Russia. I thought the Ottomans would have been forced to spit someone out with that Russian war. Tunis and Malindi. Let's see any rebels we can support. Ottoman revolutionaries. 130 ducats a month. <laughs> God. That's insane. Uh, I might actually... Let's raise war taxes. Sure. That gives us a decent chunk of money. Most of our money goes on to paying for these blooming troops that we've got anyway. Right, let's just siege down all of this and then we'll go to war with Cano. Oh, what I was going to say is I'll just get myself organised for sorting Cano out as well, but... This is great getting access through France and stuff. I can't believe it was Milan that started the war. Yeah, I think we're uh, I think we're winning this. Oh, they're down below a hundred thousand infantry now. Jeez. We're training up more every day, but they're still they are getting wrecked. Hopefully we'll get most of this land back. I mean, I think almost all of it is my core. So, core, 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 not a core, not a core, not a core. So those three, oh, those aren't cores either. Okay, so most of the stuff that I've taken aren't my cores. Huh. 
Oh well, hopefully we'll get them anyway. I'm sure Mbamba's my core. Yeah, it is. Oh god, Imperialism CB from GB against France. Oh, this is ridiculous. If everyone who's attacking France right now takes a chunk out of them, then this second attack on France is going to be so, so easy. Well, the Siege of Calabar is over. So that frees up another massive army for them. Uh, for Cano, that is. Hey, Trading Slaves is back. Nice. Ah. Uh. Okay, so we've only got that one army now that's reinforcing. It's fine, how much money we're making? 26 ducats. Those war taxes though, jeez. Let's uh, let's just go to war with Kano. We'll just double check who's in the coalition against us. It is only Kano who's in the coalition against us. They have no allies or anything. Let's imperialism to take everything. Conquest CB, yeah it's 100%. Cost. There we go, Imperialism CB. Let's uh, charge in here. Let's we'll see if we can see their army, take out their army, and then there we go. Let's select this army. Force March. Right there. 27th. 29th. They're going to Kawara anyway. <clears throat> right, and let's start detaching the sieges. There we are. Managed to catch them. Up to Manga. Right, you head over to Canum. You're heading up to Manga. Everything siege down for Cano. Jobs are good. Cameroon siege down. Let's throw these guys up to Wider. How are their ships looking? 38 and 13 transports. Hmm. I probably could uh, attach these guys to the boats and send them over here now. Obviously they're 38. Ooh. Papacy. Give me stability, Pope. Thank you very much. That's why being a Catholic is just so overpowered in this blooming game. Oh, France is just getting sieged down everywhere. This is beautiful. The great blue blob is getting blasted. Oh wow, even Russia is declaring on them. Everyone's taking the opportunity. Lose one stability? Nah, let's lose 35 of everything. Just got my stability back. It works out cheaper for everyone, uh, for me anyway. Alright, let's send them across. Come on, any time now gents. We won the, the Siege of Kano proper. I'll send you guys to the Gold Coast. Don't really need to help out with any more sieges. Alright, we'll come back and pick these guys up. There's only three, three there. And does this... Oh wow, that counts as that as well. Lovely. And this here is definitely not within Africa, is it? No, it's Asia. Beautiful. Right, do France own anything else that would be considered Africa? I don't think so. Malta is definitely Europe. Definitely. Yeah, knew it. <clears throat> there we go. Hopefully uh, Morocco can sort out their own state, that would be nice. Okay, we won that siege, let's just move him up there. I don't know why I personified that troop as a him, but... Uh. Oh, these have lost some men. Or rather, I've detached some men from this, uh, this army, so... Alright, let's stop force marching you and send you down to the Cape Coast. Let's see how much... You like me by 200, so I can annex you as soon as we're out of this war. Can't I? Yes, I can. What about you? When can I annex you? Oh, I just need 190 opinion. 
Okay, so let's send a Diplo up to improve relations with them. And we'll annex them as soon as we can. Alright, so if you guys go down here, then that's the rest of your army that you started with. Alright, you guys go there. Okay, that's that done. Alright, we've gained imperialism against Portuguese Louisiana. Good up you guys. Siege of Katoku is over. One last siege. Full annexation is 100%. Oh, not all for tribute. And vassalizing them is 80% war score. That would save me an awful lot of hassle coding all these lands. Hmm. We've got 10 years to get the Diplo power for it. I've got plenty of Diplo relations. I might just do that. That'll be a lot easier. Yeah, let's do that. It's generally advisable to just vassalize and Diplo annex if you can, as opposed to full annexation, which would have saved me so many hassles if I'd have been doing this from the start, which I hadn't because I'm an idiot, but. Right, send them up there. You can now be my vassal, indeed. Boom. Jobs are good, in, and we're just waiting on the war with France to finish. Let's actually grab you, pop a leader on you, and head you up and you can help out Morocco. Even though they could probably handle it eventually, I've got nothing better to do, so. <laughs> I mean, we just finished that war and we're waiting on France ticking down. But I'm going to have to call it an episode here, guys, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.